Uncross Snow. A wonderful new story, a new beginning, and a new start to a new day. Ain't that right, girl? Sass. Ain't that right? Yeah. Girl. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I don't know if you can see this, but you can see my breath in here. Maybe if you can see it better this way. A little chilly in the garage. Eh, it works though. Here's my workstation. Pretty nice, huh? Kidding, of course. Still is a beautiful day outside. Look at that. Absolutely pretty. Very pretty. All right, let's get back to work.
Alright guys, we have the final product. Here it is. Looks pretty nice. Alright. Alright. Leather sheath with a silver, uh, I'm sorry, stainless steel uh, rivets. And then <laughs> the knife. Alright. Uh, for the grips, I used black walnut, which looks awesome. I think it does. And then, as the title says for the video, I used a lawnmower blade and forged it out. And this is all hand done. I, I didn't use any power equipment um, other than my hands and the grinder. Uh, the grinder was really just to get the shape because you know how long that would have taken to get that with files. I was primarily using files anyways to to build the shape and then I just uh, put the bevel on the edge and uh, turned out nice. It's a real good slicer and dicer. It's not really a, a good batoner because how thin the blade is. Uh, and I made it thin so that way it could hold a really good edge and it does just like my Ontario butcher's knife. It's basically that that thin or right all the way down to the bevel right right here And uh, that Ontario by the way is high carbon steel and the Blade knife one more blade knife that I made is made out of middle carbon steel steel mid carbon steel So it's not great, but it holds its edge and it does very well I have an Orion uh, CMP shooting target, and uh, it was one of my bad targets. <laughs> and um, let's see how sharp this thing is. Basically, like cardstock. So uh, you have a dense material across a sharp edge. So let's see what it does. You get my point. You guys get the point. It's sharp. And to compare it to how sharp it is, here's my Ontario knife. Which obviously cuts a little smoother, but still, to get something that well and that sharp is very nice. So, enough said. It's a sharp knife, it works well, and I've used it in the field, and on small twigs, it cuts right through them. I wouldn't baton it um, if you get this knife, but it's a very good knife. It really is. Here are some pictures of the knife. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys like this series about making knives and uh, if you do just comment down below or click that thumbs up button it really helps me a lot uh, it helps me a ton it really does and if you would share it because I am pretty sure other people would like to know how they make how somebody can make a really good knife uh, basically for nothing uh, just, all it does is take time it just takes time so, uh, again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.